No one visits an amusement park to experience Newton's first law. But even uniform rectilinear motion, where all forces cancel, can be exciting as you are moving up a roller coaster lift hill. And non-motion can be exciting as you wait for the acceleration in dives and loops. However, this work focuses on examples of motion with nearly constant velocity, which happen between all the changing accelerations and forces in a roller coaster. We are not point particles, and orientation matters. In textbook inclined planes, the forces are represented by arrows adding up to zero to satisfy Newton's first law. In a roller coaster, the forces act on you and are experienced throughout your own body. The normal force is exerted by the seat, and the tangential force in the direction of motion is exerted by the backrest. The larger the slope, the larger the force on your back. For 45 degrees, it is as large as 70% of your weight. And without visual reference, you may even believe you are moving straight up. An escalator has about the same slope as the lift hill in the Liseberg Bonner roller coaster. But the riding experience is of course completely different. In the escalator we are standing up, just as if we were standing on the floor. But a smartphone placed on the handlebar will experience the same slope as you in a 30 degree roller coaster lift hill. The forces acting on you, on your own body, can be captured with sensors moving along with you, for example in a smartphone. The phone can measure not only forces, but also air pressure and angular velocities, giving additional ways to work out elevation differences, speed and slope. In the large helix roller coaster, we found a couple more unusual examples of motion with nearly constant velocity. The photo shows the second LSM launch, where the train is given sufficient speed to get over the highest point. However, in the later part of this linear uphill slope, the speed is nearly constant, as found using the tracker software to follow the front and back of the train during a short video clip. The ride finishes with a hard line roll, where the track and train move around your body, while you move in a nearly straight line. Try to rotate your phone and observe the forces during a hard line roll. These are the data from a ride. Smartphones can help us connect authentic experiences of our body with textbook physics. Again, we are not point particles and orientation matters.